Okay, everyone, I am uh, pretty excited about this video. What we're gonna do is we are going to treat bees inside of this box that has uh, plexiglass on like three sides. And the reason I wanna do that is because I wanna see how the bees are moving the oxalic acid uh, vapor around the hive. Now it's a little bit cold today, um, but hopefully these bees will be all right uh, getting moved over here. I think we've still got bees in this double nuke box that uh, came through the winter here. So we're gonna move them into here and then we're gonna get the vaporizer fired up. I'm gonna try to have uh, cameras kind of looking at all the windows if I can, if I can manage that. And uh, hopefully it is gonna be pretty cool. So stick around and uh, uh, hopefully you'll get something uh, out of this little experiment here. Okay, so the, uh, the nuke box wasn't big enough for the experiment. So we're gonna have to switch over and try this one. Hopefully there's enough bees in there. I want enough bees to, to kind of see how they move it around and if they're so weak that they're just kind of all clustered up uh, that, may, that may not be what I want to see in the experiment. So let's try this one. Hopefully there's a good number of, uh, of bees in here. top so kind of racing against uh, my camera batteries and stuff too better Sorry guys, I know it's cold. <laughs> Drop them is probably not how to do it. Gonna see if I can see the queen. All right. Check, check, check. Okay, it has uh, been a little while since, sorry, it's been a little while since I was last filming because I had to run and get some more 
oxalic acid because I can't find mine. So we are going to go for this now. That's warmed up. I'll probably just film the uh, entrance with my other phone and uh, we'll see how this goes. Had a little bit on there to keep. Okay, hopefully you can see that. These are uh, in the top there. Kind of loose, so I'm gonna have to put my mask on so I won't be able to talk as well here. You guys should wear a full face or uh, goggles. But do what you want. <laughs> I'm going to try this a second time because uh, I didn't like how much was escaping here. So I'm still going to get out, but now something's getting out of the top.
Okay, so even with the amount of escaping that we have, it's kind of hard to tell, but there's still some vapor getting pushed around the box. I do think it's pretty safe to say that the more airtight you have the box, probably the better. And I do think we've confirmed that the bees do push it around pretty good. As you can see, we've still got vapor coming out of this box. It looks like a decent portion of it has uh, kind of stuck to the sides. I'm assuming it's the, the condensation is kind of just grabbing that exolic acid. It looks like it's actually kind of broke the cluster up even a little bit, kind of, it kind of moved about. All right, guys, hopefully uh, you enjoyed that video. It was uh, actually quite a bit of work making this video. I had to make all these boxes and try to get all these cameras going. I've uh, had pretty bad luck with keeping my memory cards working and cameras working. And anyway, I'm working on getting, uh, getting better with that. But uh, yeah, I wanted to see kind of what it did inside the box, uh, if the bees pushed it around or, or what have you. And, uh, I, don't know, I guess we accomplished that. I'll stand out of the wind, but I'm gonna get the entrance open on this and kind of get some insulation over that plexiglass. And uh, that'll be it for this video. If you made it this far, I appreciate you uh, liking the video or leaving a comment and let me know if this type of uh, content is something that I should make in the future. Appreciate it.